Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to give you a review of Zoho Books. Zoho Books is accounting software and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to review the Zoho pricing plans. Then I'm going to give you the walkthrough of the whole tool, what you can find there. And while I'm going to do that, I'm going to talk to you about advantages and disadvantages I personally see. And in the end, I'm going to mention some alternatives that you can have comparing to Zoho Books. So when I enter here and I see the pricing plans, uh, the really great thing is that uh, you have also the free option. For this, I give Zoho Books the thumbs up that you can see free account and a lot of stuff you can have already in free account. Then of course, uh, you can go with the standard or professional and you can invite more users and then you're gonna have like more invoices, projects, tasks, custom views, custom fields. And the more you go the professional premium, the more things you can like have. So you can like just check out what you actually need. Like you need recur recurring bills, vendor credits, and possibly you need to professional. Then you have the premium elite and ultimate and ultimate for top notch. In my opinion, Zoho Books is all right for small businesses or if you're alone, but for big companies, I would definitely go like with Xero or QuickBooks. That's my opinion. For small business, it's kind of all right. Now, uh, what is the uh, disadvantage that I personally see? The pricing is all right. I like the free account option. Uh, the like when you're starting out, it can get a little bit overwhelming how you can use it. The user interface, in my opinion, is like comparing to FreshBooks or Wave, which are huge competitors uh, to Zoho Books, uh, it's worse. That's my opinion. Now, of course, it's much better comparing to QuickBooks or Xero. Now, uh, the support is not that like great. Uh, when I read the reviews, this is the reviews that I read on the internet. And also the mobile app would need an improvement. But other than that, uh, Zoho Books is effective service that you can use. So the first thing you see that you can easily find uh, the dashboard where you can simply have the cash flow, total receivables, total payables. Then you're going to find like the items here uh, where you can simply click new item and add a unit, a selling price, account, and if it's a goods on service, then you're going to find the next thing and it's a banking. And you can easily connect your bank on credit card or you can add it manually. Then you're going to find the sales here and you can easily add customers, estimates, invoices, sales receipts, payments received, recurring invoices or credit notes. So you can see that even for the sales, you have many options here, what you can do. And I can easily click here, new invoice. You fill these things up, save and continue. And here you go. Simply like managing the whole invoice as you need. So then you're going to find the purchases and you're going to find the vendors and the expenses, the recurring expenses, bills, payments made, the recurring bills and vendor credits. So even in purchases, you can cover everything. Now, I don't know if you're from the US and I don't know how would it be with the IRS. So if you can have like bigger business, I would definitely go with the QuickBooks and I would get accountant. I wouldn't do it alone. Like guys, uh, I have accountant. I always say that you should focus on a business and if you're accountant, do the accounting. But if you operate in a business, you shouldn't care about invoices and stuff like that. Yes, I have a few invoices that I can't automate that I need to send to my, um, let's say when I'm tanking a car, right? That I'm giving fuel to my car and I have the receipt for it. I need to always screenshot it and add it and send it to my accountant. Well, and then she's doing everything else. I wouldn't recommend you doing it all the time. Yes, for your own data, it's great. Um, but don't spend so much time on accounting because the more time you're going to spend accounting, the less time you're going to focus on your actual business. That's from businessman to another businessman or woman, how it works. So then you're going to find a time tracking here where you can find the projects and timesheet. So I can simply click here projects and I can easily create a new project. So that's pretty good. Then I see the timesheet here. 
and I can lock time. So time is money with time sheets. You can lock time, spend each project and charge your customers accordingly. Then you're going to find accountant and you're going to find the manual journals, bulk update, currency adjustment, chart of accounts, budgets and transactions locking. And then you're going to find reports. So that's pretty much it what you can do here. I mean, you can see it by yourself. That is like pretty standard accounting software with adding the customers, the estimates and invoices. Now, what about the alternatives? Uh, alternatives for Zoho books. So you have a fresh books, then you get also the wave, but wave is available only in the US and um, uh, Canada. Then you get also the books, which is also really interesting. So when you write here the books, so that's another one that you can like try and see how it works for you. And test it out. I personally like the design of the books. And then you have also Xero and a QuickBooks or how it's called. Wait, how it's called Xero versus yeah, QuickBooks. QuickBooks is also great. Um, but again, the design is getting better and better every year. So QuickBooks is a top notch, I think, in the field if you want to go really, really well. But again, I would recommend like outsourcing it. If you're an accountant, I understand. But other than that, I would definitely recommend going uh, with like give it to someone else. So then you're going to see the free, the standard, the professional, premium, elite and ultimate. And that's something you can do. So if you can have any questions, guys, regard Zoho books, let me down in the comments. I give a thumbs up to it. I recommend using it. Um, my recommendation, definitely try it out by yourself. See how it works. Let me down in the comments your thoughts on it. If you like it or if you don't like it, I'm really happy to hear your opinion on it. And yeah, this was a Zoho books review, Zoho books alternatives, Zoho books pros and cons. Like the pros is that uh, it's low cost. It's superior dev in records and transaction forms. And you can have custom fields here. You can use the document management. And uh, you're going to have the payment gateways here too. So yeah, thank you. And you're going to trial a free account. I mean, test it out, see it out. I give a thumbs up. But if you're a small business, it's OK. If you're going to be bigger, outsource everything. <laughs> That's my only advice. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya. And the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is with Zoho Books, you can also use something like Zoho One. With Zoho One, you can use all Zoho applications and then you can, can save money for Zoho projects and other tools. So that's something interesting to think about too. So thank you very much. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.